Hello and welcome back to Seasons on Erlengrat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am the Sim Farmer and I hope you are having a great day. So today we've just got a few jobs knocking around the the farmyard and we're going to be selling some stuff as well. I think we're going to sell some more milk and some manure as well. I think we've got quite a lot of manure, over 100,000 litres of it and I'm not going to be using that much. So yeah, I'm going to be selling some of that to the biogas plant later on in the video. But for now, like I said, we're just doing a few jobs around the farmyard. As you see, I'm feeding the cattle at the moment. I have already fed the pigs. And as for the sheep, well, the grass is long enough for them to be grazing on that. So yeah, I don't need to feed them. I might need to just give them a bit of a clean out though. I think there might actually still be a hay bale over by the sheep feeding area but that's from earlier a different episode but yeah I won't have to put any more down for them because of the grazing so that's great so I'll just park this up and I think I need to give the I need to give the pigs and the cows some straw so yeah I think I will do that next if I remember rightly, there isn't very much left in this straw bale. Let's just see. No, there's not. There's just 780, I think that says there. So, I'll go to the pigs first. They probably won't even take all of that. The pigs don't tend to take a lot of straw where the cattle are going through over a bale every day. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get the the pigs done first I've got to do the greenhouses as well I need to put some manure in those and some water I also need to water all the animals so yeah a bit of a bit of a busy day around the farmyard as for the fields I don't have that much work to do on them right now so that's why we're spending a day just making a bit of money from the manure and the milk really and making sure all the animals are happy. Oh, what's that there? I got, I'm getting stuck on something. Let me just try that again. I don't think I was hitting the door. No, I'm not hitting the door. I don't know what it is. Ah, right, okay. I have got the, the straw blower unfolded. The door is open. So I'll lift that up and back up a bit more. And <laughs> this time I will hit the door for him. <laughs> okay, it's not going too well there. Let's just try that again. And there we go. Let's see how much that takes. Yeah, not very much at all. It's only taken 300 and odd. So, we'll just shut the the pen doors. No, we won't. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, let's get this over to the cattle. Like I say, they take quite a lot of straw. They, they've been taking over a bale a day. So I'll give them this and another one. Maybe they might even take a bit more than that. Let's see. As I was saying, there isn't a lot of work to be doing in the fields at the moment. Field 12, my wheat field, is growing away nicely. It just needs weeding, but I'm going to do all of the fields at the same time. Field 21, that is the... Let me get this right yeah that's the cornfield and again that's fully fertilized and just needs some weeding and then field 22 that is the sunflower field that needs another lot of fertilizer so i've got a lot of fer uh, fertilizer sorry of manure like i mentioned before just bear with me a second while i get this i'm going to get the one at the top there just to keep the rows nice and even. And we'll just go into that. No, I've not got that. Oh, I've got the the spikes at the wrong angle there. And there we Yep, there we go. Okay. So we'll get that over to the straw blower. As I was saying, I've got a lot of manure i think it was about 120,000 liters something like that so i'm going to sell some to the biogas plant but i'm also going to keep some back and i think i'll buy a 
muck spreader, a manure spreader, and yeah, and I'll finish field 22 with manure rather than chemical fertilizer just for something a bit different to do. So yeah, that's the three fields and obviously the grass, we've done quite a lot of grass work recently. So I'm going to let all that regrow before we do anything with that again. Oh, didn't mean that. Oh, don't roll back out. Right, okay, so the bill isn't playing ball. It needs, well, it is playing ball, it's rolling. <laughs> so yeah, um, we'll get that back in there and hopefully it'll stay there this time. And there we go. There we go. We'll put you down, back out, and hopefully it'll stay where it is. And uh, no, it's not. It's rolling back down. This is because I didn't pick it up properly. When I picked it up over in the, the barn, if I'd been square on, I would have been able to put this on its side and I wouldn't have any problems. But yeah, this isn't going very well at all, is it? Um... Oh dear, right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to come square onto it like I should have done right at the start. I should have picked it up properly and I wouldn't have any problems at all. So, there we go. Right, we'll get the spikes at up the right angle and I've just gone through the top of it now. <gasps> dear me, this isn't going right. This isn't going well for me at all, is it? Right, there we go. I've got it this time. And it's on the forks properly and it's going to go in first time this time and we'll turn around there and there we go come on come off the it's still not going great is it there we go you're not coming out now Right, so I'll pop this up and then back to the class and we'll get that straw shredded into the, the cattle shed. So once we've got the straw in there, I think we need to give the animals some water and the greenhouses like I mentioned. Just lift that up so the straw is blowing all the way in there. I was watching a Tom, ben Tom Pemberton Farm Life YouTube video recently and yeah they were saying sometimes they blow the straw and the cattle actually go underneath where the straw is being blown to and they really like that. I think they were demoing a straw blower and yeah they said at first the cattle were a bit wary of it but yeah in the end they they started to really like it and as i said they they actually go underneath the straw as it's being blown in and yeah i thought that was really good so yeah the tom pemberton map is coming out on farming simulator soon as well so that should be interesting i don't know if it's coming to console but if it is i think i've got to have a play on it it is a map in lancashire and that is my stomping ground that's where i originate from is lancashire so yeah i think i'll have to have a go with that and there is a lancashire seasons geo as well i think that was by missy b so yeah i think i'll have to definitely have a go at that at some point so that's the straw done they would have taken a little bit more as you could see but after the fiasco of trying to get that one straw bale into the blower i think i've had enough of that for today so yeah we'll go straight onto the water we've got the pigs to give the the water to and the greenhouses here as well i'm going to be using the large tanker to water the cows though okay then so the pigs they're not taking that much water food or straw at the moment but yeah there is only 21 pigs in there some of them are in farrow so they will be having their young quite soon and then obviously they will start to take more of everything producing more manure as well so i think i can probably expect i don't know from 150 up towards 200 pigs 
at a time in there once they have all started to give birth and the the cycle keeps on going i think they give birth about three times a year so yeah and if you don't sell them on when they get to to the right size then the the young will start to give birth as well and it can get out of control so yeah i think it's about 280 pounds that's in weight that you need to start selling the the pigs and you get the the best money per pound from the pigs so yeah i'll be looking forward to that i just hope that this tra transporting animals glitch is sorted out because it still isn't i keep trying i keep testing it and no it's not sorted out i i sent an email to giants i've had a reply from them but they said oh yeah it's probably from a different a different mod and as giants don't make all the mods then you know it's out of their hands but as i mentioned in a previous episode quite a few people have replied to the post i put on the giants forum and they're all having the exact same problem and it all started when the seasons update came down so yeah i think it is down to seasons so i am really really hoping for an update soon but it's definitely not going to be in the next two weeks because giants are now on their christmas break so obviously they do work very very hard for us and the game that they've given us is absolutely brilliant and yeah i just think when something does go wrong we do get a, a little bit frustrated i have played games that are nowhere near this game and so yeah giants are absolutely brilliant don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say that they're not because they are far far better than some studios that i have i've played other games on i'm not going to mention any names so anyway there we go so i'm going to fill the water tanker now it is going to take some time so yeah i'll park up and start the water going in and then i'll be off to do a different job so let's just have a quick look at the animals the cows need water the sheep are fine and the pigs are fine so yeah let's look the 128,000 liters of manure and 178,000 liters of milk there so yeah i'm going to sell some of that and make some money there as i've said i'll keep about half of the manure to put onto field 22 and that should make me some money let's have a look at the price of manure it's 180 euros per thousand liters so yeah that's a reasonable price some maps it's even more than silage for manure and i think that's a bit unrealistic so yeah i'm happy with that price and if i fill i think it's a 59 thousand liter trailer that i've got then yeah will be able to make some money out of that so i want to use the large bucket that i've got for this job because yeah there's a lot of manure there and obviously the larger the bucket the less time it's going to take to get the trailer full and like i say i think it's 50 nine thousand litre capacity trailer so yeah the the bigger the better for this job i think i will just take some manure round to the greenhouses first i've i put the water in the greenhouses so yeah i'll try i try to keep the water and the manure i try to do them at roughly the same time that way we get to yeah they, it won't run out of one and not the other so yeah there's a lot of manure there so we'll get that bucket full it's about 7800 is that 7889 but it says it's only 99 percent. so yeah it's, it's a large bucket it's called the lightweight bucket the only thing you've got to be careful it's because it's such a big bucket it really does restrict your view so i lift it up like this but when it's full of manure and manure being very very heavy 
then yeah you've got to just be a little bit careful that I don't think you'd be able to tip one of these things you you'd have a good time trying to tip one of these things but yeah it's it's not quite as sturdy as it could be once you've got 7,000 litres of manure weighing it down up in the air like that so let's see how much this is going to take there's some in there but not too much so let's see how much it's going to take and okay that's about 2,000 just over 2,000 litres there just over 25 percent of the bucket so i would expect the next greenhouse to take more or less the same as i fill them both at the same time every time so let's just have a see and then we can get back to watering the cows that tanker should be full by now and yeah there we go just about the same just over 2000 liters so i'll take the telehandler back to the manure i'm going to leave it there for when i am filling the the trailer full of manure it's a bit lighter up there in the bucket now so it's a little more stable there we go i've got all those silage bales there i need to check if they have actually changed to silage yet i'll do that in a while i think they might have done and if not it will not be long at all before they do turn to silage so yeah i will be able to make up some more tmr because if i remember rightly i only had one silage bale left so yeah let's have a look at that in a while first of all let's get this water into the cow shed we'll just drive around like this through the silage bunkers i think i've probably got too many silage bunkers i've got the ones up at the top of the silage making facility and then i i put these two down here just in case i was deciding to make up loose tmr but it looks like i'm sticking with with bales at the moment you never know i might change my mind in the future and i might go to making loose i have got the multi-fruit silo so i can store loose hay and loose straw in there so we might do that we'll have to see now i won't be surprised if this takes a full tank in fact i need it to take a full tank because i want to sell some milk as well very nice truck the nmc truck I do like it very nice and yeah it looks like we're going yeah we've taken all the water and yeah there we go near enough full so we can go straight round to the milk i'm only going to do one tanker of milk i know i could do a few what did we say 170,000 liters so yeah we could do probably about five tankers of milk but yeah i'm not going to do all that can't remember what the capacity is of the tanker just need to drive a bit straighter in the back there i think it's 30 odd thousand litre capacity so let's just see and for the milk where are we going to take it and it looks like the supermarket so we've already been to the supermarket i'm going to sell it at the supermarket but next time even if the supermarket's the the best price i think we'll try and find somebody somewhere else to take it just so we can see different areas of the map but for today yeah i've only got sixteen thousand euros in the bank i do want a little bit more than that as i've said i want to have a look at buying a muck spreader don't know how much i'm going to need to spend on that so yeah let's get this to the supermarket 
Okay, so I've already been in here once and I came in the right way last time but I couldn't seem to get the trigger to work so I've turned around and come back in and yeah, I'm going to try and back onto the trigger and get it to work that way. I have had it working before. Oh, and there we go, straight onto the trigger. That's easily enough. But because it's taken me so long to do it, I've got to back right up to the loading bay and there we go so 32,000 litres of milk what was the price I think it was 1,100 and something per thousand litres so it's not a massive price but I've got that much milk that I'm not going to wait to get the best prices or anything I'm just going to sell it every now and again and yeah I'll just get some extra money that way so you can see the money's flying up there i'm expecting something in the region of thirty-five thousand, something like that let's see thirty-seven thousand four hundred and forty-eight euros for that so that is great okay so back to the yard and we'll swap trailers and get loaded up with manure Okay, then we've got the new trailer on and yeah like i said i think this is fifty-nine thousand liter capacity so if the bucket is just under eight thousand liter capacity it's going to take what seven or eight buckets to fill the trailer so that shouldn't take too long and yeah we'll get it over to the biogas plant the other good thing about selling to the biogas plant is obviously the digestate that I will get as well that I can be using for fertilizer. So although I'm keeping some of the manure back to use as fertilizer, I may get a slurry spreader as well so that I, I can do a bit of both. I'll do manure this time around, but yeah in in the future i'll go with some digestate as well it doesn't go very far digestate it, it runs out very very quickly so i think by the time i've sold some more silage to the biogas plants maybe over a year whilst i'm selling silage and manure to the biogas plant the digestate will start to build up and yeah i'll be able to start using that for my fertilizer as well so that's the first load in there we'll get another one get that lifted up and yeah the one thing I, I'd, I'd like to try not to do is keep knocking into the trailer too much I know it's it's easy to do but in real life I don't think a truck driver would thank you for banging into his trailer too often so I'll just try and get it up there without knocking the trailer at all there you go it's going in there and yeah none of it on the floor so yeah that's great okay I'll get on with this and I think this is going to be my last load I was counting, but then I, I lost track. I've, I've done six or seven loads. Uh, so I, th I think I've done seven. So I should get half of this one in, roughly. Let's see. And there we go. Get that tipping into there. and yeah there you go just about half of it has gone in there so i've got a full trailer there now i'll just empty the manure out of the bucket and i think i'll go and give the the bucket a, a wash down i know it doesn't really matter in game but in real life if you've been using manure for a bucket especially if you're going to use it for something else like silage later on you definitely give it a nice wash down so yeah i think i'll go and do that there we go lift it up a bit so I can see where I'm going like I said before that's the the only problem with this bucket it's that big that it does really impair your your view 
So, yeah. And there we go. Give that a nice spray down. There we go. And then we'll get off to the biogas plant with that manure. So I've not been to the biogas plant before, but I'm pretty sure it's along here somewhere. I had a quick look at the map. There's a train going past. So where is it? I think it's around here somewhere on the left hand side. Not 100% sure, but yeah, like I said, I've not been here before. Now, I'm not sure if I'm getting mixed up with a different map or a different biogas plant, but I think I remember hearing that this only had a smaller capacity. I might be wrong, it might be the 50,000 litres. I definitely hear, remember hearing about a biogas plant very recently that only had something like a 30,000 litre capacity. So, we'll see. This is 59,000 litres I want to get in, so no matter whether it's a 50,000 litre, yeah, here it is. Yeah, no, no matter, even if it is a 50,000 litre, I won't get it all in at once don't know what the the area is going to be like for tipping though is it yeah it's a raised one it's off the ground so and i'm not yeah, okay which way i'm going to do it yeah i'll just drive in this way and i'll get the trigger back into it or something like that oh there you go the trigger just came up there so yeah nice and easy there uh, all right okay i don't look very uh square onto it even though it is taking it i think i'll try to well, once it's done the 50 it, i think it is going to be fifty thousand liters yes yeah it's fifty thousand liter capacity so i think i'll just straighten up a little bit look a bit tidier there just whilst it's processing some of it i need another eight thousand and something there yeah okay so it's going down yeah it's just a regular bi biogas plant isn't it so yeah i'll jump back in and we'll get the rest of it in when there is room obviously i'm not going to get paid until midnight so i think what i'm going to do is i'll record when it comes up to midnight and i'll edit the video and i'll put that in just about here and it's just past half 11 but i've got time on times 120 so it's now coming up to midnight and let's have a look how much we get paid from the biogas plant uh, Ten thousand six hundred and twenty. so yeah, I suppose it's only manure, so it's not too bad that. And we have got the digest it to go with that. Hopefully we've just seen how much we've been paid for that manure. But we're going to leave the video just about there today, guys. I hope you've really enjoyed the video. If you have, I really appreciate it. A like. If you've not already subscribed, please think about doing so and turning on notifications so you don't miss any more of the videos. Guys, if you've got any comments, please put them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.